Hello, yes, is UKIP in safe hands, part two. Uh, if you remember, I made a video headlined uh, is UKIP in safe hands several months ago regarding uh, statements, remarks Henry Bolton, the chairman of UKIP had made regarding retaining jihadi ISIS fighters, saying they should be tried for treason. I said it was silly saying things like that because it will conjure up all sorts of um, mad thoughts in the public's mind regarding, um, you know, high treason, Guy Fawkes, death penalty. It, it literally would have conjured up all negative thoughts and it was a silly thing to say. What he should have just said was that they wouldn't be allowed back into Britain. Their, their passports would be revoked, end of. But he made a silly statement about trying them for treason. It was rather silly. So I gave Henry Bolton the benefit of the doubt. And here we are. Several months later, he's involved in another controversy. This one, it's an extra marital affair with some uh, younger model, 25 years is, uh, younger is she, um, Joe Marley. I mean, you know, is it a coincidence, an accident all the time that those I highlight, controversy follows them everywhere? Another coincidence, another accident, and another accident and coincidence is that the woman he uh, hooks up with, Joe Marley, she just happens to have left a trail of embarrassing comments on uh, social media that no doubt will reflect bad on Henry Bolton and also uh, on UK. But the polls, is that another coincidence, another accident? I mean, look at the photo of him at the uh, beginning, the screenshot at the beginning. It's been taken out of the uh, daily uh, tabloids. I mean, he's standing there like a little Jack Russell. I can't believe he's given air a good walloping, but you never know. But all the same, it's going to rub off on UKIP, especially at the polls. And again, you see, you've got to keep asking yourself, is it all an accident? Is it all a coincidence how Joe Owens highlights these people? And it's always proven right. Controversy seems to follow them. You see, Nigel Farage, when UKIP was first formed, believe me, trust me, the security services would have infiltrated it without a doubt. They would have sent their spies in. Or it's two criminal proxies. Hope not. Hey, Nicola, Jerry Gable, say that magazine. They would have sent theirs in. Courtesy of the big boys, them I-5. Without a doubt, they'd have been keeping a close eye on you, Kibble. When the time is right, they activate the spy. Like they did with Stephen Wolfe. The handbags at dawn. And the European Parliament, another accident, another coincidence that keeps happening. And like I've said before, and I'll say again, before Theresa May, Vincent Price can betray 17.4 million people and Brexit, she has to first finish off UKIP. Is that not what's happening? Exactly. Nigel Farage, you've jumped ship too quick. You've put faith and trust in democracy. And... Uh, Theresa May, Theresa the appeaser, where you rightly called her, would have to uh, take us out of the European Union because the people had voted to do so. She wouldn't dare renege on it or drag her feet to balls it up. And you've put faith in these treacherous Tories. And it may, look, I hope, you, I hope I'm wrong, that your 25 years of campaigning are going to be all in vain and the party you helped bring Brexit, the party you led that brought Brexit about is going to be finished off as well. And what would you have achieved? Nothing. You see, the same forces that have been destroying British nationalism the past 40 years are now doing it to UKIP and also to Nigel Farage, right? You probably understand now that even though we haven't gone about it the right way, we've been all on the same side, give or take one or two policies, I suppose, but we can all live with that. Because that's what's going to happen if Brexit is betrayed. Your 25 years of campaigning, hard campaigning, is all going to be in vain. And the party that you helped get up there and terrify the establishment that brought about the referendum is going to be destroyed. And that cannot be a nice thought for yourself, that can it? Surely to God not. But we shall see. We shall see what happens. But Henry Bolton again, true to form. Okay, thank you.